Hello everybody, my name is Tuba Splat and I've got a different kind of video for you guys today. So, a while back, I'm starting to wonder if my dog is going to make an appearance in this video. Um, so, kind of a while back, I, I don't know, maybe like a few months ago, I'd, so, I'd say, I start to, I kind of started to realize I might be becoming a retro gamer. Um, not to say that my content's going to be any different, but just my own, that the, my personal choices of games are starting to go more retro. Um, maybe because just to appreciate them for what they are. And not, I guess the best way to describe it is kind of like art. Not really the way, I'm trying, I'm thinking of a meme right now where, like Nintendo, like somebody, some things representing Nintendo, it's like, Oh, here's an old retro game. Appreciate it for what it is. You don't play it. Well, I'm kind of breaking that rule, and I'm just playing retro games because I there might there's a lot of games I never played before. Like I don't know, like a true Sega Sonic game. Uh, a lot. There's a like an any like a Nintendo 64 and SNES, NES, all of those kinds of consoles. All the old all the old stuff. The Genesis, the Dreamcast. Never played them. My first console was the original PlayStation, and that's kind of been the way it's been since then. Um, so, yeah. But now I'm kind of starting to become a bit of a retro gamer and collect quite a bit of retro games, and I thought I would share those with you um, since, my, since my realization that I'm starting to go retro. So the first bundle I have, and this, this dates from about the summer so well I graduated in May so let's say like July August let's say I don't know for sure so I'm on reddit a lot frequently a lot um, and every so often I will see posts of people saying that they went to thrift stores and this is what they found kind of deal so I did that I went to a local thrift store they did have a game. They have a game section, and I found there. They had a. They had a bit. A lot of them weren't that great, but I found four games here that I'm going to show you that I think were probably like the greatest hits of what they had to offer. And they were all. Uh, look at the prices are still on. They're all four dollars a piece. So I made out like a bandit. I think for all these games. So the first one is. Look, I almost said Lego Star Wars. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 for the PC. I did install it. Um, I didn't. I have not played it yet. I am. Uh oh, this came out. I am sad. I am unfortunate to say I have not played it yet. Um, I don't know why. Again, I, I'm more of a console player. But like, if I feel like I want to play PC game, I will. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a great, a great pickup from a thrift store for four dollars Knights of the Old Republic 2 and when I was looking for at these games I was actually like looking at reviews and stuff um, like just to see like the scores and how well they did because there were some titles like the next two I was I know for sure that they were really popular and good games but then some of them like I know ultimate I know Knights of the Old Republic was a good game I didn't know about the second one if that was good and apparently it is and so is this next one Medal of Honor Frontline for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I never... Well, no. I do have a Medal of Honor. If it's gonna... I do have a Medal of Honor title. I want to say Homefront. I don't remember. There's a Medal of Honor title I have on Origin. That was free at one point. Uh, it was like on part of the On the House campaign that Origin subsequently, or EA, um, got rid of. But that's like the only title. I don't know why I want to say it's home front. Something like that. I don't recall. Um, next title is Tony Hawk's Underground 2 for the PlayStation 2. I did... No. I don't remember now. I did play this one or the next one on PS2. I, I did play it a little bit after I bought it. I I bought them just because they're good titles. And I... Who is a name on the back here? <laughs> Belong to somebody named Emily, I guess. I don't know. But, um, 
Yeah, I just realized that. But uh, yeah, anyway, so I did play this, or no, I don't know which one I played, or maybe I played a little bit of both, but like, yeah, Tony Hawk Underground 2, I, the controls are very, very foreign to me, and I, yeah, I don't know how to play, I just played just for shits and giggles, I don't mean to play it hardcore or whatever. And then the last one of, sorry, I already showed it, the last one of this thrift store haul is Pro Skater 2, 3, well, I can't read backwards on my preview over there, Pro, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, um, same thing, I never played Tony Hawk games, I've only heard about them, that they were phenomenal, except for whatever the last one was. Was under was it Pro Skater Five? There, whatever there was one that came out for PS4 and Xbox One. So that is the thrift store haul. That was again during the summer. And again, I started to progress more and more, and now I'm definitely starting to be a retro gamer. As I mentioned in one of my last videos, I'm hoping to get a Sega Genesis flashback for Christmas. Um, so now all the rest of these games. They are from a secondhand store in my hometown. Um, first two I bought at the same time or right around the same time. No, I bought them same time. I don't know. Yeah, first one is Jackass the Game for the PS2. And the story behind this is I just saw it and I'm like, it's Jackass. It's going to be either good or really bad. And I bought it. I'm just like... Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to play it. I have not played it yet, sadly. I want to wait and actually play it with one of my friends because he was there when we when I bought it. And I'm just like, dude, we need to play this together. Um, I, I don't know. Just because he's the Jackass fan, and I guess I am too. Well, I mean, I'm enough of a fan that I bought the damn game. So, yeah, I just kind of thought it was funny. that I'm just like, I did not know that this thing existed. And then I bought it, and I have it. Next one. It's not a PS2 game, <laughs> surprise, but that's what mm -hmm, the most of them are, rest of them are going to be, is Metabots Infinity for the Nintendo GameCube. So, when I grew up, when I, when I was growing up, I watched Metabots on, it was some Fox, it was some Fox channel or service, I don't know what it was called. But um, they played a lot of Metabots on TV, and I, I loved this series. I loved Metabots. A while back, I went back and watched some of the, I went, I eh, can't talk. I went back and watched some of the anime. Uh, I don't know, I might have gotten to, like, maybe episode 30 or something of the anime. Um, but again, I was just browsing through this secondhand store, and I found this, and I'm like, yes, I need to play it. Um... I did play some of it, and then I stopped. I'm trying to remember why. I think because I wanted to finish the anime first before I played this. I think that's why. Yeah. I did have a Metabots game uh, for the for the Game Boy Advance way back in the day. I don't remember what it's called. I've downloaded ROMs of it on my PC for emulators, or I've done it also on my iPod Touch. I've hacked my iPod Touches before to get uh, ROMs and emulators working. And uh, every time I see it, it seems like every time I try to play the ROM, it crashes, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I got Metabots Infinity. Uh, the next one is a PlayStation classic game. Um, again, I was still... This is still kind of coming out to being a retro gamer. Um, and I have found a subreddit, which is all WWE games like 2K19 and everything else. Um, and I put a post up on what are good PlayStation Classic games. Uh, wrestling games for the PlayStation Classic. And a lot of people were saying, uh, shoot. or Because I, I mentioned, too, that I found... WCW Mayhem, uh, WCW Nitro, WDF Attitude, and Warzone. But then it seemed like most of the uh, suggestions were ones that uh, will be the next will be the next game I show. 
but the one I did end up buying, and I did play it, and oh boy, it is not necessarily hot garbage, but it, it's hard to figure out, because some of the, as somebody put it, some of the games were made to be more or less like fighter games, they weren't like wrestling games, they were like fighters, so you had to know combos and everything, and I think this one applies, is WCW versus the world. Um, yeah, I played, I probably played it for maybe about 10, 20 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's, it's hard. Um, I thought I had the controls down at one point and then I, it completely threw me for a loop, but it's really kind of interesting to see. <laughs> it's so interesting to see like some, like how things are so dated now, like here on the disc, like it says like, oh, you might not be able to see it actually. Like it says, for game tips on our products, call this number. Um, and then of course, before there was like more or less free internet, you had to actually pay, like, or pay to use the internet. So it's like, or no, it's for, 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 the, note, for the phone number, 90, 95 cents a minute. I don't know. Yeah, when you had to pay <laughs> for, um, yeah, when you had to pay for unbelievable rates for phone, like per minute kind of stuff. Uh, I was trying to get these in chronological order. But yeah, I think I got these. I don't know. I tried to get these in chronological order from what I just bought versus the first ones, which were the thrift store haul. But anyway, the last year I just kind of be garbled together because I don't remember what I bought. Um, the next one, like I was mentioning with the OCW, people were mentioning a different game that they really liked and that was really good. But it wasn't a PlayStation title. It was a PlayStation 2 title and it was Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. I have not played this. <laughs> I, I more or less just kind of collect, but I would like to play as soon as I finish doing all the games that I'm playing. Um, but yeah, shut your mouth. That was one title. I am... Um, I did not see this in the secondhand store, and then the next time I went, I saw it, and I'm like, the, I'm... When I go there, I figure... Uh, I figure it'll be there next time I get it. Well, I thought about that for uh, Day of Reckoning another wrestling game from WWE uh, for the GameCube. It was there for a, quite a while. And then the time I thought I was going to buy it, and then it wasn't there. Uh, so I'm like, I might as well just buy it while it's hot. And so I bought it. Shut your mouth. And then the next title is... i got to shift positions. I'm sitting down and my legs are getting to sleep. It's Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. Um... It is not a WWE game. It is a wrestling game, but it is completely different. Uh, I was gonna say it's not. I was gonna say it's not really New Japan. In what is the oh Fire Fire Pro Wrestling World? That's the one that's out now. The latest installment is the one with New Japan. Um, but like this isn't three D. Like Fire Pro Wrestling, it's not 3D. It's a really, it's like a 2D game. Uh, the thing that really blew me away was that it says on the back here, choose from over 300 wrestlers. That blew my mind. But then I think, wow, that's amazing. But at the same time, it's a 2D. I'm sorry, that looks like Cactus Jack. It's not. Um, but it's 2D. It's not a 3D game as opposed to. I'll try and. So you can see it's all 2D, where then you got SmackDown, Shut Your Mouth is all 3D models. Um, so yeah, I bought those games, and then I bought, <laughs> bought Ratchet, or Secret Agent Clank. Um, I, love the, I love the Ratchet and Clank franchise series. Um, that's why I'm 
as I mentioned in my last video, I'm playing it again and the sun went away. I apologize. There we go. The sun went away behind the clouds, so it got darker in my living room. So, yeah, I bought this. This was originally a PSP game. Same with, uh, I have the PS2 port of it. Uh, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Now the sun's back out again. Going the wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> have to keep playing to adapt with the sun. Uh, but I did not know this was ported to PS2. I saw it and immediately bought it because I really wanted to play this game for a very long time and was ecstatic to find that it was ported to PS2 so I could finally play it because I never owned a, a PSP or a Vita in that case. Last two games, just to break up again the monotony of so many wrestling games. Uh, I bought these on Black Friday. The store was having a buy one, get one half off sale. So I bought Family Guy the game. Uh, this is a PS2 title. They do have a PS3 one. Oh, it's um, Family Guy, something into the multiverse. Um, I didn't really want to buy a PS3 game because I, I don't know. Not not to say that I don't want, I don't like playing PS3, but just like I don't really want to keep setting it up and tearing it down. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. So, yeah, I bought this, and then when I looked at the back at the previews, it uh, it looks kind of bad. It looks comically bad, I'll say that, but maybe it'll be a fun time. Uh, this sun, man. Just going to leave it in the middle, and if it gets darker, I don't care. So, yeah, I bought Family Guy the game. And last, but certainly not least... Um, I bought SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Uh, they do have the first SmackDown vs. Raw, which was 2005. They have that still. I did not buy it. Mostly because I wanted to do... I wanted to play in the, uh, the draft. The, the GM mode. I do have... So basically, <laughs> I have every WWE game... From, like every SmackDown versus Raw, I have every game except for 2009. Uh, but yeah, like I, I mean, I know there's games that came out before this, before SmackDown versus Raw, like SmackDown came out beforehand. But um, my first introduction to wrestling games in general was SmackDown versus Raw 2008. Um, so. I bought 2007. I'm missing 2009. Um, I don't know. I think I could have gotten 09 at one point, but I never did because it didn't interest me all that much. Because um, it was seemed like, in my opinion, it was featured more. It was featuring. It was pandering more to tag teams. Like that was like their main feature was like tag teams, mostly because DX was on the cover. Um, but yeah, I never. I never bought 2009, but I did buy 10, 11, so on and so forth up to 2K19, where we are now. Um, but I did, I have played many times, tried to successfully play GM mode on 2008, but because it's tri-branded, and I mostly just picked ECW, it's hard as hell, GM mode. Um, so I found 2007, and I'm like, I'm going to give GMO a shot in here. It's probably not going to be any different except just the fact that it's just Raw and SmackDown. It's not ECW as well. But yeah, that is all my retro games. Not all of them, honestly, but this is just since I've hit the realization I'm becoming a retro gamer. So I'm sorry that this was almost a 20-minute video. I apologize for it being a long video. I just wanted to explain my decisions, why I felt I needed to buy these, um, and so on and so forth, and any kind of, like, personal attachment, like, like, metabots, and so on and so forth. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video, and to stay in tune with, I guess, more videos like this, or any other content on my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll get you guys next time.